What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a Burris low power variable optic for us to talk about. It is the full field E1 3 to 9 by 50, and my puppy just jumped up. I scared him when I clapped. Anyway, these are available at Notches. I'm sure you guys know by now Notches is the biggest supporter of the Tiberius Game channel. They're normally 330 beans. They have them on sale right now for $99.99. I was going to wait a few more weeks, months to get some more rounds on this optic before I did the video, but that price is just ridiculous. $99 for this is crazy. There's a link below if you want to check it out. If you're in the market for an optic like this, I don't think you're going to beat something like this for $99. So the thing I want to stress is uh, uh, any more for well, this optic, yes, it is more affordable. So you do sacrifice some bells and whistles, which I'll go over in a just just a second, but you're not sacrificing quality. It's still a very good optic. It's not like you can't compare this to a $99 optic off Amazon. Those are junk. This is going to be significantly nicer. You just minus a few little bells and whistles. All right, let's get into it. Starting at the back, it does have a diopter. I was pleasantly surprised there. The diopter is going to focus the reticle for your eyesight. It's smooth, has a good range of motion. All good there. Eye relief is very respectable. It goes from 3.1 to 3.8 inches depending on where you have the magnification. All good there. Now the clarity was shockingly nice. Even for a $300-ish optic, I would be happy with the quality. But for sub $100, off the charts clear. It looks really good. Very little distortion. I mean, it's very, very pleasantly surprised on the clarity. Magnification rate, of course, goes from three to nine. It is smooth, but it's a little on the stiff side. Uh, I think it will loosen up as you use it more often. Um, and you can add one of those speed levers to it if you want. They're very inexpensive. Um, that doesn't come with it. Now, before I get into the reticle, which is pretty useful, um, I just want to explain that it's a second focal plane reticle. Obviously, you're not going to get an optic, a three to nine optic in this price range that's first focal plane. But what that means for you is that the holdovers I'm about to explain to you really, truly only work on max magnification. On other magnification, you can kind of use them as a guide, but they're not going to be 100% accurate on any so second focal plane scope unless you have the magnification cranked all the way to the maximum. Really not a big deal on this because if you have the magnification low that means whatever you're shooting at it's not very far if you need the holdovers that means you're shooting at a good distance so cranking that magnification up is really not a big deal uh being this is a second focal plane scope not really a big deal all right so the reticle very useful on the left and right of the center of the reticle you have some holdovers for 10 mile an hour winds half of that would be uh, five mile an hour winds. You also have hold unders going from 200 yards down to 500 yards and you have wind holdovers on those uh, hold unders for the two to 500 yards. Now the specifics and exactly how far it's going to be will vary uh, depending on the ammo you're using like the grain and the barrel length and all that stuff. In the manual it will break it down a little more specific based on the ammo you're using but that's just a general holdovers, hold unders, Good stuff, wind holds, very useful. And now the, the windage and elevation adjustments are capped. So let me spin this caps off real quick. Each click is going to be a half MOA adjustment per clip. click. They are, whoa, they are very, very tactile adjustments. Not super audible, but they are very, very tactile. They're, they're not mushy at all. And the adjustments are very, very stiff. There's no wiggle in them. I always w worry about budget-friendly scopes. Are they gonna have a ton of wiggle and play in there? And, and they're pretty they're pretty solid. Uh, you have a total of 50 MOA adjustments. Um, and the thing I was really shocked at is the, the turrets are resettable. I could not believe at an optic at this price that you can reset the turrets back to zero after you sight in your optic. So if you look close, there's a little cutout on the turret. You can stick something small like a, a pen or something in there, pop that turret off, reset it back to zero, put it back on, and you are good to go. That was a, a very pleasant surprise for me. All right, a couple of those bells and whistles that I mentioned that this scope does not have. One, the really the only one is going to be the illumination. There's no illumination on this reticle here. So it's not gonna work great in the dark. Uh, it doesn't come with any scope caps for me. I take those off and throw them away. I have dozens of them. If I wanted to put them on, they're very inexpensive, uh, but it doesn't come with scope caps, even though it can work with scope caps. And then again, it doesn't come with a speed lever. Not all optics do, but again, super cheap. If you want one, you can get one very inexpensive. Couple last quick features. It's a 30 millimeter body. So getting a mount for it is going to be very easy. It is just uh, under, uh, excuse me, just over 
13 inches, so not too bad there. 17 ounces, not bad at all for a second focal plane, three to nine. And then uh, let's chat about testing quick. So far, I have about 200 rounds through this optic. Uh, all 200 rounds has been on this Bagara uh, bolt gun, my son's bolt gun here. I wanted to put a couple hundred more rounds through this optic before I did the review, but again, the sale is just so ridiculous. I said, let me get this review done and out so you boys and girls know about the deal. All the shooting I did at the range was just plinking, having fun, me and my son having our usual competition, shooting different things, hitting steel, all that good stuff. Pros, the biggest pro for the 80th time is going to be the price. I'm not gonna keep on saying it. I like the glass clarity, especially for a scope for the money. The glass clarity is very good. The windage and elevation adjustments are excellent, especially that you can reset the turrets. Pleasant surprise there. And the reticle is simple, but still very useful reticle. As far as cons, I don't really have a con. I think it's a great option, a great scope, as long as you're okay not having those few bells and whistles. Um, perfect for, what did I have? If perfect, if, if you're gonna plink at the range like this, this gun is just a plink, plinking gun at the range having fun, or if you're going hunting, I think either one of those would be a, that this scope would be a perfect, perfect optic for either one of those activities. All right. That is all I have for you. Let me thank Natchez once again for being the biggest supporter of my channel. The link to this optic and to Natchez in general is down below. They always have a ton of good deals, not just this one. They always have a ton of really, really good sales. Now, I need to ask you nicely, please subscribe to the channel. The button is down there. You click like, you click subscribe. The bell notification, you're done. It doesn't hurt. It makes you feel good. It will make you warm and fuzzy inside. I said please. How could you not do it when someone says please if you think I deserve it? Like, subscribe. It truly helps me out. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Be good. Peace.